The stroke occurs when the flow of blood to the brain is interrupted, often by a blood clot. We have over 50 million stroke survivors, and much larger population if we consider the other neurological diseases. I think what people want is normalcy after something like this. One of the aspects that is very important in rehabilitation is repetition. A little detail about the way the brain works is that whenever your brain sends signals down the spinal cord to the muscles, it also sends a copy of that back up to sensory areas of the brain. So the brain knows about its own output. We're taking advantage of what's called neuroplasticity. The aphorism is that neurons that fire together wire together. You have to ask yourself, well, how, how can we promote neuroplasticity? Well, as far as we can tell, robotics is actually the best way to do that. It's always been my vision to apply the principles of engineering and, and robotics and science uh, to, to help people. Bionic is creating robots that interface with humans. Those robots improve the quality of life of the people they serve. Between our offices in Boston and in Toronto, we have a world-class team. Product development has been led by two professors at MIT who are leaders in the robotic space. Bionics is the only company that covers the whole spectrum. From hands to arms to ankles to exoskeletal devices for the legs and for balance. So the complementary products cover the entire waterfront. The individual is interested in whether they can do things in their daily life that make them uh, happier. I had a patient whose goal was to hold his wife's hand again. We were able to achieve his goals by using the robotic therapy. The major improvement that I had was I can drive my car with my affected hand alone. I couldn't do that before. Even though I know I can't just pick up something and move it, I'm trying with my arm more now. And um, I hope one day that's true. I can say I went six years without standing. For the first time being able to stand was something pretty cool that uh, the ARC let me do. Something needs to overcome the wheelchair, kind of make this kind of archaic device, something of the past and something new come along. We'll look back and say it's because of this that we're able to stand up and walk and do all these things again. It just gives good hope and insight into what uh, the future is going to bring for us all. It's very empowering to be developing technology that really assists others, that really makes a difference in people's lives. We've pioneered in the field of robotics. We've built a world-class team. We have the strongest clinical data of any company in our field, and we continue to expand our product range. And through that, we're well on our way to becoming the global leaders in this industry. And that is what will enable us to help millions upon millions of people